Let's look at changing the camera mode from color to grayscale. Sometimes you can get a bit of a performance improvement in terms of a little bit higher frames per second. I'll start here in NI Max, look at Acquisition Attributes, and pick Grayscale. Let's do a grab, and you see that the color image is now showing up as Grayscale image. I'll save this to the camera configuration file that's associated with this particular camera. Let's come back to the Machine Vision app template. We'll go to the Vision Acquisition Express VI. And this is how it's set up at the moment. Click Reset to Defaults. And that pulls the camera mode and attributes from that configuration file that we saved in NI Max. All right, next, let's go back to NI Max and try selecting a lower resolution, 160 by 120. Hit Save, that freshens the configuration file. If I come back to Vision Acquisition Express VI, reset to defaults, and that pulls in the updated values from NI Max. Now let's try running and see what happens. Invalid image type reported by iMac Vision. It's not immediately clear where that error is being generated, but I happen to know it's located right here in the Vision script. The default Vision script for the Machine Vision app template has the step Extract Luminance included. This particular script is expecting a color image. Since I'm feeding it a grayscale image, I need to remove this step that is looking for a color image. Let's go back to the front panel and save it and rerun. Good, now we are with the 160 by 120 grayscale version, and here's the filtered version of that grayscale image.